So what's up, y'all? Want to talk to y'all this morning? Good morning, by the way. This is AJ Simmons. And I just want to talk to y'all about something that was on my mind uh, in regards to going through struggles and trials and tribulations, right? So I watched uh, this documentary called Zeitgeist, Moving Forward. If any of you are into conspiracy type stuff or anything of that nature, like I am sometimes and definitely was uh, a few years ago, then you probably seen that documentary. It's, I think it's on Netflix still. But anyway, that it starts off um, with a guy that plays Monopoly with his grandmother as a kid, and he he always he played her for a long time, and she kept beating him, beating him, beating him, and she was teaching him uh, throughout the years. And finally, he was able to beat her, right? And once he was able to beat her. He was all excited, he celebrated, and then she said, now you know what happens? And he said, what? She said, you put the game away and put it all back in the box. So the moral of the story was, basically, you can try and try and win all you want to and buy all the property that you want, but at the end of the day, we all have that final destination, which is death, away from this place. Some people look at it as a transition, but nonetheless, you can't take any of this stuff with you. Now, when I first saw that, the first thing that went in my mind was it was almost kind of depressing because I'm like, well, in that case, what am I even fighting for? Because they're right. Why even try if we're going to lose it all anyway? We can't take it with us. So what's the point? But here's my point, and I made an Instagram meme about this that went, and I think I can quote it directly, which is, in life you're gonna struggle anyway, so you might as well struggle trying to reach your goals and chase your dreams. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, on one hand, yeah, you wonder like, well, why even try if we all gotta die anyway and we can't take it with us? Well, it's because if you don't try, and if you don't go and live out your the, the life that you want and chase your dream and follow your passion and all of that, then you're just going to have one long, miserable life anyway, or one short, miserable life, but the bottom line is miserable. You're going to struggle regardless, whether you try or don't try. The only difference is if you try, if you set high goals and, and dreams and expectations for yourself, if you reach those goals, and when you reach them, because as long as you keep going, you will reach them. You know what I mean? And when you reach them, you won't have to be miserable anymore. If you can reach that 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 thing that you want so bad, whether it's a type of lifestyle or basically that's it. The lifestyle that you want, if you can obtain that by working in order to get to it, then you can shake that misery that you that, that's bothering you. You see what I'm saying? So that's the reason why you need to keep following your dreams and chasing your goals. Because at the end of the day, you'll be miserable otherwise. You're going to have to live on somebody else's terms. You're going to have to continue to get up and report to some place to work in order to get some type of income in order to survive. So it's like, why just survive? Why not just live abundantly? Why not set yourself up where you don't have to depend on somebody else and live on somebody else's terms? You can create the terms that you want. Life isn't perfect. The world isn't perfect. But you can do your best to make it as perfect as you possibly can make it and make it your version of perfection. So set goals and achieve them. And make it happen for your life because you got to experience your life. And you don't want to experience misery for the remaining time of your life you don't know how much longer you're going to be here you can be here for another 100 years from today no matter how old you are right now i don't care if you're 98 you still you could still have 100 years left here so why spend those next 100 years being miserable why not set some goals some high goals and some high dreams and go after them so you don't have to be miserable for the rest of your life because one thing about the struggle when you're chasing your dreams versus the struggle when you just surviving is when you when you struggling but you're chasing your dreams, there's so many lessons in it. And you and you grow so much more bigger and, 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 and so much more tougher and you learn so much and it's just so many it's so many things that goes along with it. Like it, it builds character when you drink when you're trying to grow and you're going through struggle. But if you're just trying to survive and you're going through struggle, 
it's just a, the same repeating cycle, the same stupid stuff over and over, the same check to check lifestyle, the same mediocre stuff, friends, the same mediocre life, the same mediocre activities in your life, the same mediocre habits is a rerun over and over and over. Do you want to spend the next 50 years of your life living that same born rerun that's so miserable that you hate? Or do you want to take a chance, just a shot, take a chance? It's always a chance to go get what you really want out of life. You're here anyway. You were put here for a reason. Why not go out there and figure out what it is and go accomplish that? Alright? So thank y'all for watching, subscribing, sharing, and commenting. This is AJ Simmons, and I challenge you to go out to what you believe is right for your life. Thank you. Oh, and I also forgot when I was talking about the Monopoly story at the beginning. The most important thing that I forget, forgot to remember was this. It's just a game. That's really all it is at the end of the day. So whether you win, lose, or draw, it's just a game. And the good, the best thing about games is even when you lose, you can just play again. And that's the same thing with life. It's really just a, a big game. The money isn't real. You know what I mean? It's not really actual money. It's green pieces of paper that represent an idea. You know what I mean? Of money. And we all accept that idea, which makes it, which is a currency that we value to get things that really are worth things to us. So anyway, it's just a game. If you fail at something, who cares? Just go do it. Just go pick yourself up and try again. Like, there's nothing to it. You know what I mean? If you lose an asset, okay, fine. Fix it and go get another one. There's nothing to this stuff. Don't be scared to give up something because you might have to give up something good to get something great, all right? So I just want to let y'all remind y'all of that. When you get completely down and you feel like your back is against the wall, just remember, it's just a game. Who cares? You can play again can win again it's no it's like it, it you got free will just remember that you control your life all right so thank y'all again aj simmons